In this video, I will explain prospect theory. Prospect theory is developed by two psychologists, Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky in 1979. They call it prospect theory because it's theory about how people form decisions about prospects and prospect is a gamble. In other words, we can say how people make decisions under uncertainty. This theory has two major components, value function and waiting function. Value function means how people value the things, how they value to each positive or negative outcome. And waiting function means how people deal with probabilities. Now I discuss value function in detail. It was C diagram that Daniel Kahneman and Amos Swerky wrote in their paper. It's S shape. It means people do not think about gain and losses linearly. In gain area, it's diminishing value, like diminishing margin utility in economic theory. This shows uh, people prefer certainty over uncertainty. If we see the diagram for losses, it's concave up. It means people are very much conscious when the little changes in their wealth. This shows the magnitude of sadness for losses is greater than the magnitude of happiness for gains. From what point do I measure gains and losses? This is called a reference point. It's psychological and subject to manipulate. It could be today's wealth. For example, you lost $100 today. And if you compare $100 with your total wealth, it's nothing. But you exaggerate. You feel bad. You can also change people's behavior by suggesting different reference points. Like insurance companies, they manipulate people's behavior by suggesting different reference points and sell their policies. Now I discuss waiting function. Waiting function is about how people deal with the probabilities. And probability is between 0 and 1. If we tell people the probability of something, but they cannot accept it psychologically, the errors that people make are described by the waiting function. If you see the diagram, that is written by Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky. It says, if there is low probability, people consider it zero. And if there is high probability, people round it one. And if they are not able to decide between zero and one, then they exaggerate the difference. For example, if you want to buy a ticket of an airplane and you think about the crash of airplane, there is low probability of crashing the aeroplane and you've done it and you think there is no need of buying an insurance policy and if you exaggerate you may round it to one and you think aeroplane could be crashed and you buy the insurance policy this is the way how probability weighting function influences decision making under uncertainty and risk thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel.